I have failed this test many times, and I constantly ask myself this. Also, it's a very good test to apply to the employees who work for you. Are you asking them to do something that you yourself would not do? You know, if you have a meeting in Mumbai, are you asking them to fly first class with three, excuse me, not first class, <laughs> coach with three stops? You know, are you doing that? Because you wouldn't do that. Why would you ask your employee to do that? That's the tenth thing, the tenth test. Oh, I would say of all these tests, the two most important, I think, are are you high into the right, unique product, great value of that product? And number 10, are you asking people to do things that only you, that you also would do? That's the test. This is my final slide. If you would like copies of this presentation, uh, just drop an, an email to uh, holly at garage.com, and we'll be happy to send you a PDF of this presentation. And the second thing I want to show you or talk about is uh, my website called alltop.com. Alltop is a news aggregation website. Think of it as a digital magazine rack. So if you went into a Borders or a Barnes & Noble, there would be these racks of magazines. There would be the photography section, home section, celebrity section, sports section, and car section. That's what we have. We have topics like design, photography, cars, sports, and we aggregate news feeds from blogs and sites. We display the five most recent headlines from those sites. And if you mouse over any of the headlines, we show you the first paragraph. That way you can decide. And um, let me, well, first can I show you something? I'll just show you the depth of my love of photography. So about a month ago, I had an opportunity to spend a night on an aircraft carrier. And how many of you from the Navy in here? OK, so I'll tell you something. That was an eye-opening experience. I have been on some interesting field trips in my life, but wow. So the Navy invited me to spend a night on the USS John C. Stennis while it was off San Diego. And this is not something where they pull the boat up to the dock for you and you get on. You fly over in what's called a cod. And a cod is this very, very strange looking airplane. I'll see if, I think I have a picture in it right here. This is a cod. So you get in this butt ugly plane and it is so noisy. Your ears are plugged and you, well, I'm sorry, you look like this and you're sitting backwards and there's no windows and it is just, unbelievably noisy and then you take off and then you land on the carrier and within 300 feet you go from 180 knots to zero which is a very interesting experience very interesting experience and so um, I created what I consider the longest blog entry in the history of the internet because there were so many interesting pictures um, that I have 180 pictures in this blog and people just went crazy that, you know, how can you, most people hate more than five pictures. I had 180. And I included movies. So let's see if I can have a movie here. Um, so this is, this is a D90 in action. So this is me standing on a runway, and over my shoulder comes in a plane and just screams and lands. So you're about basically... 30 feet from where the plane lands. It's not quite the airport experience that you're used to. Wow, what an experience. And so there's, now people ask me, well, guy, you know, how dare you put 140 or 50 or 60 pictures in this blog? And my logic was this, that, you know, these people, these people here in the brown t-shirts, um, they are the, they are, they each have a plane. They're like a product manager for a plane. My logic was this, these people every day are putting their lives at risk. You know, we're sitting here in Monterey, we're like happy, but these people, they're out God knows where. There could be, you know, someplace in the Mideast. They're, they're risk, their lives are at risk every day. And so I thought that if, if one parent or one spouse or one child saw their husband or wife or brother or sister or daughter or son in these pictures, it would justify the whole world downloading four and a half megabytes of pictures. That's... I think a good trade-off. So that's why I did it. So anyway, I <laughs> I love photography. I just I hope you're getting that clear now. 
So at all top, one of the topics is photography. So what we do is we try to find all the good sites and blogs that talk about photography, and then we aggregate them. So up here, um, let's say you like Steve's Digicam's forums, or you like DP uh, or D Preview, and if you Oh, there's an icon, D700 reviewed. So see, if I put the cursor over the first line of the, the headline, it shows you the rest of the first paragraph of the story. This way, you can determine if you really want to read the story. And then we aggregate, you know, I don't know, about 100 photo blogs and photo sites. And that's what we do. And we have this for about 300 topics, wine, food, baseball, football, Hockey, especially. Uh, and we also have things that are, you know, I also believe that people have a responsibility not just to have high traffic sites, but sites that might change the world. So this is a site that aggregates all the news about slavery and human trafficking. And what I'm trying to do is make people aware that, you know, yes, there is slavery and human trafficking still happening. So, you know, it. Sites that also aggregate news are like Dig and, and stuff like that, TechMeme. It's going to be a long time before you find a story about slavery on Dig. You know what I'm saying? So I think we have a moral obligation to bring some of these issues to light. So we have slavery, ADHD, OCD, adoption, homeschooling, all this kind of stuff. So anyway, that's all top. And so um, I guess I just want to, I want to say that I love your industry. I truly do. I hope you keep making cameras that are smaller, built-in video. The functionality of an 18-200 lens, um, but smaller. <laughs> uh, I, but I have no complaints about battery life in your business. But I wish you could teach some manufacturers in Cupertino how to get battery life out, because every laptop that I own from Apple, no matter what they say, I get two hours out of it. And my, my, my D90, man, I was like, I'm amazed at how long the battery lasts in that thing. And so you could teach us about battery life. Um, but these are the top 10 points, the reality check, right? So make that product that jumps the curve, not just stays on the same curve and attempts to do things 10% better. You know, jump the curve. Define that within a mantra, two or three words. That, that two or three words describe how you make meaning. You need to make meaning. The holy grail of marketing is to be high and to the right. Very, very unique camera, and the uniqueness is of great value. Now, you could do something that's unique that is not valuable. Then you're just stupid, right? But you need to make something unique that is considered value. As you try to jump these curves and, and try to be high and to the right, ask yourself as a good test. Is what I'm doing deep, intelligent, complete, elegant, and emotive? Hire people who are not perfect. Just they get it. They want to help you change the world with you. And above all, do not ask people to do something that you yourself would not do. And that would be a pretty good reality check. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.